Good morning, everybody. Well, good afternoon. Whenever you're going to actually watch this video, guess what? We got some more Dan Snyder selling the Washington Commanders news, and it starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you for stumbling across this channel. If you're a returning visitor, thank you for supporting this channel. And everybody, if you could, speaking of supporting this channel, if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button. Now that subscribe button is no longer that candy-like red button. I think it's now this black button, but whatever the color is, please subscribe to this channel if you possibly can when you do hit that notification bell so you know when i release another video i try to release them on a schedule sometimes my schedule is a little wonky so just be on the lookout for the, the other videos okay and with that said let's get into today's video so dan snyder it was reported that he is in fact selling the entire washington franchise folks this is not just a minority stake in the franchise that earlier in the week Jerry Jones felt that that's probably what Dan Snyder was doing no no actually he is selling the entire franchise and he hopes to sell it for as much as seven billion dollars and honestly that is not really out of the realm of possibility because the franchise is worth about $5.6 billion, according to Forbes. So $5.6 billion is your base, sal or base salary, is your base selling point for the franchise. $7 billion is really not, asked, is really not out of the realm of, of an asking price for this, for this franchise. And I really think Snyder's going to get it. He also hopes that he can have it sold by next March before the next major league owners meeting. And this is all, of course, according to Jay Glazer of Fox Sports. And as I said before, you know, according to Forbes, the Washington Commanders worth $5.6 billion. There's already heavy interest from other billionaires to purchase the franchise. So it's not out of the question that I think Snyder's going to get $7 billion. I think he's going to get $7 billion pretty easily. Now, as long as all of us longtime fans, I, I, I tell you, I can't be more excited with this news. I really can't. I know a lot of people will say, don't get your hopes up. This could be just a ploy. I don't, this is not a ploy, folks. This is actually real at this point. This is about as real as real is going to get. There's no way that Dan Snyder would get any minority billionaire owner willing to come in and have 30% ownership of the team and not have any means of you know, controlling interest or anything like that. There's no way that anybody would be that stupid. No way. There's no way. Folks, this is all, this is an all or nothing. And from what was also reported was that a lot of the other owners. So, of course, you know, Jim Irsay, he did come out publicly and speak against Stan Steiner and said that he should be removed. But other owners had actually came to Dan Snyder privately and said, it's time. Dan, it is time for you to sell. You can sell big, retire. Look, you had about a $750 million investment in this team in 1999 it's turned into a 5.6 billion dollar investment you have won you have won you know yeah your team didn't win on the field but in the realm of things it doesn't matter you have won take your money and run and i think he's listening believe it or not he is listening and as a longtime fan of this team i can't be more excited we need the the sell to happen. The franchise needs the sell to happen. The DC and surrounding areas need the sell to happen. The legacy of this Washington franchise needs the sell to happen. 
For now, there are only two guys that I know of who could possibly make this sell happen and happen very quickly, and that would be Jeff Bezos and Josh Harris. You know, Josh Harris, of course, he wanted to build, bid on the Broncos. The Waltons, you know, they were going to outbid him no matter what, and so he didn't think that it was going to be worth it to buy the Broncos for more than $5 billion. So he's going to want to own a an NFL team, and he's going to be interested in the Washington franchise, I'm sure. Uh, Jeff Bezos has been interested, and he is very much so a billionaire that the NFL is interested in having within the open arms of the other owners of the league. So the league wants Jeff Bezos, right? And I think Jeff Bezos wants the league, and I think he wants the Washington franchise. And, you know, there's been talk about him bringing in Jay-Z as a minority owner. Doesn't need to bring anybody in. He can own the entire team outright. <clears throat> but, you know, he's doing that for, I don't know, but that, that's fine with me. And, you know, who knows, maybe... Maybe Josh Harris winds up being a minority owner in with all of this before it's said and done. We we don't know. We we just don't know. But I can tell you one thing. There it does need to be an owner who can write the check out from day one and still have money left over because there's going to need to be a stadium deal done. Now I can guarantee you once the new owner once he signs on that dotted line or she Signs on the dotted line, by the time that ink dries, and it may be before the ink even has dried, I bet you that RFK site is as good as theirs for a new stadium. I, I bet you. Um, I just feel it in my bones, RFK is going to be the new site for the stadium when a new owner takes over. In the end, this is good for everybody, like I said. This is good for the franchise. This is good for the fans. This is good for the D.C. area. And as I alluded to earlier, this is good for Dan Snyder. And from what I understand, it wasn't just one owner. And like I said before, it was all the other owners who came out privately to talk to Dan Snyder, and, and Snyder's finally listened. And I'm telling you, after finally... What was it, 23 years? Going on 24 years? This once proud franchise might finally be free again. I mean, just, just think. Imagine, imagine having championship football in D.C. once again. Imagine that. Hmm. That would be awesome. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.